Hello guys, welcome back to Unity Gurus and this is lesson 8 from this Unity Knock It Down game series. In this tutorial, I will add functionality to this pack and to the restart button. We also add a pause panel when we hit our pack button and we will also fix some lighting issues which we will face during the implementation of these codes. So without wasting time, let's get started. This is the Unity project from last tutorial and uh, before starting the tutorial, I would like to make a few corrections. Okay, so first of all, go to this extra ball icon and delete this one. So to delete this one, simply drag it to the scene, hit delete, click apply and now it's saved. And next, go to the live particle and set the Z position to negative 10. So this way the particle will be in front of all objects. So let's try this. Okay. So now the extra ball icon is in front of all these scans. So next uh, we want to add functionality to this back button and this restart button. So let's start with this restart button first. With this restart button when a user will click on this one it will simply reload this scene no matter in which level it is. To add the functionality let's start the visual studio. Okay. So first of all, I would like to make a static variable public static bool is restart next. I will make a function for our restart button. So public void p underscore restart and in this function we will call a coroutine. Next make a coroutine which we will call in this restart function. So simply I enumerator restart routine and in this routine first we will show a black fade and after that we will wait for one second yield return new we will wait one second and after that we will load our current scene so to load the current scene we will simply call scene manager dot load scene and as you can see I'm not uh, getting any hint about scene manager and that is because we haven't implemented the scene manager library so to do that go to here and type using unity engine dot scene management and now scene manager dot load scene and we want to load the current scene so simply type 0 0 means the current scene and next go to unity and make sure that you have added the current scene in the build setting and click on add open scenes so this will simply add the current scene to the zero index which we will load here and one more thing I would like to do before we call this function we will simply set restart to true so I am setting this restart to true before loading the scene because next time we load the scene we know that this is now restart so we will directly go into the game instead of showing the main menu screen I will explain this in a minute so now call here start coroutine restart routine and then go to start method and here we will check and here we will check if is restart is equal to true then first we will set this restart to false next we will disable the home is ui and after disabling the home ui we will simply active our game scene and after that we will call our start function which is game manager dot instance dot start game so if it is restart then we will show this game screen instead of home screen and if it is not then we will show our home screen and then simply add this function to this start button so to do that go to restart button click on this plus sign drag your game manager go to ui manager and assign the p underscore restart and now test this i drop the call hit the one ball and now i try this restart button okay so now our game is reloaded after showing the black fade but as you can see there are two main problems the first is our scene is become dark the lighting is gone and the second problem is 
when we try to click this button this boss also shooting like this one so let's fix this problem to fix the first problem i simply go to game manager and here i type using unity engine dot event system okay and next here in the update method i will check event system dot current dot is pointer over a game object so what this will do it will check if our mouse pointer is on a game ui element or not which means if we are hitting a button a ui button or not so if we are hitting a ui button then we will simply return we wouldn't call any of this function we will call this function if we are not hitting a ui element so let's try this one and i'm pressing this button again as you can see i clicked and i released and the ball didn't shoot so which mean our first problem is solved okay but the second problem is still remaining so let's fix this one also so to fix the second problem go to windows lighting and setting and here you uncheck this auto generates what this auto generate does that uh, it automatically calculate all the light maps when we first start our game but when we reload our game during the runtime the unity destroy all the light maps and it doesn't calculate again so we need to calculate the lighting manually so how to do that simply click on this generate lighting button and it will generate all the light map for all the game objects it will take some time and now the light maps are calculated and which you can check the lighting data is also available in this global map section which was not before if you want to learn more about this auto generate function you can go to unity's websites and read the whole stuff they have posted i will give a link in the description after manually generating lighting data for the scene let's try this once again so and our scene is lit let me destroy two three cans and try reloading the scene again and as you can see our lighting is still consistent i am trying to reloading scene again and it is consistent next i want to add functionality to this back button so when we click on this back button it will pause the game and show us two option whether we want to quit our game or we want to continue the game so to do that we first need to make a pause panel so go to game ui and make a panel Okay. and type pause panel make this color a little bit darker and in this one first i will add a background go to ui image and add a background click set native size it's 2d hit f and increase the size of this background this much is good change the name to bg and in this one first we will show a message so to do that add a text increase its text transform and hit in the center change the font to luckiest guy type past fit and increase the size and type do you want to exit the game and we also need two button so let's make first button change the sprite to button underscore mid sprite i have already imported this sprite so this is slightly modified version of this existing button bg click on set native size and reduce the size a bit and place this here and in this one type no again same change the color to yellow this one and change the size to i think 60 is enough and let's add shadow and change the effect distance to 2 one both slot to negative 2 and change the name to b underscore back no and duplicate this one for the yes button change the name to b underscore back underscore yes and move its side and change the text to yes so and now our post panel is ready so let's add this functionality 
quickly go into the UI manager and make a reference for this public game object post panel and here I will make a function for the back button so simply type public void b underscore back and in this one what we will do we will simply enable the post panel first post panel dot set active is equal to true next we will pause the game so to pause the game i will simply use time dot time scale is equal to zero actually the time dot time scale is not a good idea to pause the game but since our game is very small i think this will do the job next we also need two more functions one is for yes button and one for no button so first i will simply copy this one and paste this one type yes so if we click on this yes button then we will set our time scale back to one and load the reload the scene again so to do that scene manager dot load scene same like before and one function for the no button so change the name to no and if we know then we will set the time back to one and simply disable the pause panel okay simple so let's assign the function and try in the game first go to b underscore back and assign the first function b underscore back then go to paste panel same UI manager b underscore back underscore yes and for the no button b underscore back underscore no okay and lastly assign our post panel reference here and disable for now so let's test this click on the back button okay first hit the ball and you can see now the game is paused if I hit the no the game is resume and if I hit the yes then it simply reload the scene and we are now in the home screen again the last thing I want to add is the game over panel so right now you notice that when we run out of the ball so the game doesn't move ahead but let me show you what I mean let me shoot all the balls as you can see that when we run out of the ball there should be a message that the, your game is over and we either need to restart the game or we need to go to main menu so to add the game over panel first go to canvas and add a panel call this game over UI and again set the color to darker and add two buttons B underscore retry and we need one more button okay so our game UR panel is ready it is very simple let's go into the visual studio again and start coding so to check whether the game is over or not I will use a code routine so simply type I enumerator check game over and here first we will wait for two seconds yield return new wait for seconds two so why we are waiting for two seconds I will clear this in a minute so after two seconds if all grounded is equal to false which means our all the cans have not collided to the ground yet there is still some can remaining on the platform if this is false then we will wait a minute first we take a reference to the UI manager so go to game manager and type public game object game over UI and here we will enable this game over panel UI manager dot instance dot game over UI dot set active true and we will call this coroutine here if we run out of the ball then we will call this coroutine uh, okay so how this thing will work when we hit our last ball we will wait for two seconds so that our ball can hit the can and the can can fall on the grounds so we give them enough time to collide with the ground and after two seconds 
we will check if they are, have collided or not then if not then we will simply active our game ui panel so let's try this first go to game manager and assign our game ui and in the game mode ui for the retry button so we can use b underscore restart and for the quit we can use b underscore back underscore yes we also want to disable our game object ui so let's try this one more time first i shoot all the balls and this is the last ball okay and there it is this is our game mode ui and if i hit the retry and the game is simply restarted and if i quit and two and this one is quit okay and now our game is restart so now this is working fine okay so that's enough for this video you can also download the source file from the link given in the description in the next video i will add lighting and post processing effect to make it much more dramatic so that's pretty much it for this video see you in the next video